Hey YouTube, it's Nuo Master, and today I'll be showcasing my Conway's Game of Life. It is a simulation of cells, little cells that are either on or off, alive or dead, in Minecraft. It uses some new 1.5 mechanics, which is why I got it so short. It's like 10 blocks tall, which is pretty cool. It's it's a bit wide though. It's like short and fat. Uh, I don't know why I decided to make it like that, but I did. So basically, every clock tick, it decides which cells live, which and which cells die, and which cells reproduce by how many are around it. And the exact rules are: a live cell with two less than two neighbors dies as underpopulation, so that one would die if I hit the clock. Uh, live cell with two or three neighbors lives as normal population. Live, live cell with more than three neighbors dies as overpopulation. And a dead cell with exactly three neighbors becomes alive as reproduction. So uh, let's hit the clock and see that cell die. Uh, yeah. Poor forever alone pixel. He just died. So you can make uh, patterns by stepping on these pressure plates and hitting, then hitting the clock and uh, it, it, yeah you can make some pretty cool stuff with it I'm going to show you one of my favorites this one needs to be manually clocked because it's so laggy it just doesn't load so I need to manually clock this one Did that not hit? My button broke. Uh, eventually this population will die out, and when that happens, I'll show you guys another one. Yeah, this is really fun to mess around with. You just make random stuff and see what happens. And then those two alone cells will die. I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do another one. Um, do this. That will spin around. Yes, I said spin around because it will spin around. This is a repeating pattern that will go on forever. Basically, the middle cell survives no matter what. The two cells on the side die and reproduce in the other locations. So, top cells reproduce to the sides, and side cells reproduce to the top, like that. Alright. Uh, another one. Turn the clock off first. Do a spaceship. And then this one, this one, that one, and that one. And that will be a spaceship. 
it'll just like cascade downward. And just so you know, the clock can be a lot faster than this. It's just the video lag. That's why I slowed it down. Alright, you get the idea. So, I'm not going to explain how this works in this video. Um, because it's just too complicated. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it over the course of a couple other videos. I'll explain some other topics that go into it as well since there are a couple components I want to explain. Um, but I will notify people of a couple bugs that I've found. Uh, the first one being with single player commands, you can't stack item hoppers or chests with items in them. The items will disappear. Uh, I found that out. Unfortunately, I had to place all the cobblestone in these hoppers myself by hand. Um, turns out that there was exactly 512 of them. That was fun. Yeah, took about an hour. Where am I? Uh, need to get to another place. Right, there it is. That lapis block. This piston, well actually all the pistons, they all have rails next to them because I found a bug in Minecraft where if there isn't a rail there, some of, some of the pistons, not all of them, just some of them, will decide that they're happy and they just want to stay extended. I don't know why. But they do. So that's another that's another bug that I found. Uh, that hope that gets fixed soon, because it's really annoying. I've already seen a couple other people make videos or complain about it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my thingy words. Conway's game of life. There we go. And uh, see you next time.